Doing title sequences can sometimes be a little bit intimidating, especially when you have in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, do I have to go through After Effects or I have to get some plugins or I don't want to go straight to like a regular old fade. So what are some title sequences that you can utilize for your videos that are super effective, but really simple to do? You can do it right into your editing software, whether it's Premiere Pro or Final Cut, it doesn't really matter. These are very simple uh, title animations that you can do to just add a bit of flavor and energy to your video. The first one we're gonna do is super simple but pretty effective and that is a Flickr title. So what I want you to do is go into your file, new, we're gonna go legacy title, boom, grab this guy. I like just using legacy titles, I'm very used to it. So we're just gonna go with that. <clears throat> I'm gonna write my uh, text in, which is gonna say, hey, hey, it's Zach. Boom, okay, so there we go. We have my title here. I'm just gonna center it up. I'm gonna make the font just a little bit larger and then I'm going to make the size, scale it up to like 210, make it dead center, okay. And now it'll be over here in my um, project bin. I'm gonna drag and drop it and put it over top of my footage. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my text layer and just move it up a little bit in my timeline. So if I move it, let's see, probably about a second. So then it pops up just like that. Now that's cool, but it just does kind of pops up out of nowhere. And the last thing you want to do is be like, all right, control T and have like fade in text because that's kind of boring. So what we're going to do is a thing called a flicker transition where basically I'm going to go in, move up two frames, make a splice, move up two frames, make a splice, two frames, 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 splice. Basically, basically we've done a cut about nine times. And what we're gonna do for every other spot, it just kind of cut out the dead zone here. So basically now the, the text will flicker on about five times. And if we press play, this is what we're gonna get. It flickers just one too many times. What I'm gonna do is just stretch out this last bit here and then play back. And what you can do to add to the effectiveness of this is maybe have like the sound of a fluorescent light tube flickering on. So when you press play, you get this. You're like, Zach, I already knew how to do that. I watched your tutorials and you've done that one before. I get it. The next thing that we're gonna try then is this one that's a little bit crazier, utilizing a similar method of kind of having the text flicker on screen. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go up yeah, again, two frames, then again, two frames, then again, two frames, then again, two frames. So basically you have four cut points. And then what we're gonna do is click our first text. So we're gonna click onto it. That's gonna open up our effects controls over here. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it right over to this part right here. So it just comes from the left side of the frame. Then I'm gonna move up to my second part here, and then I'm gonna scale it right in and make it super big and kind of crazy. So it's like that. Then I'm gonna go up two other frames. And essentially what you're doing is you're making it maneuver around the frame. So it's like hopping around. You'll see how effective this is in a sec. I'm just gonna move it over through here. And then for my final one, I think I'm gonna make it super large again, and then down to the bottom of the frame. So therefore, it's kind of gone into all four different areas. And now if we press play, check out this magic. Pretty sweet, right? And then you can actually get rid of it by doing the exact same thing. So we can actually just go copy and then paste it at the end of the, of the title and then delete the rest of the dead zone. So basically when you press play, this is what you can get. Okay, and then my final one is a text reveal. So you're like, Zach, you can't do that in Premiere. It's actually, again, pretty simple to do uh, text reveals in Premiere. Um, I've learned how to do it because I'm freaking stubborn. So what we're gonna do is find our text here that says, hey, it's Zach. And then what I'm gonna do is go and scale it down a little bit. And then the first step of doing like a text reveal is going into your effects bin, find your crop, and we're gonna drag and drop that and put that onto our shot. So the first step is to do a text animation where we're basically gonna keyframe it up. So this is gonna be our final landing spot, 540, which is dead center in the frame. So let's move up about a second. And then I'm gonna make my position there. So this is where it's gonna end. And then I'm gonna go to the very beginning of my shot and just bring it down. 
Now with my keyframe marks here, I'm just gonna stretch this out. And with my keyframes, I'm going to select both of them, right click, and then go into here and do ease in. So that's just gonna make it ease into its animated spot. So it goes in nice and simple. So that's the first part of the process. The second part now is to play around with your crop. So click onto your shot. And then what we're going to do to make this effect reveal the text, grab onto your crop effect and click onto the bottom section. Now we're gonna just gonna raise it right up here, leave it up at that spot, and now click the keyframe mark. And now what you're gonna do is press play and then drag it down to zero so that it reveals the text. So if we press play, it kind of pops up out of nowhere. And just to make sure these things just make sure your keyframe markers are aligned. What we can do is literally just go, okay, so this is where the first one, this is where our first position ends, and then we're just gonna drag out the bottom part so it lines up. And then I'm just gonna add a ease in on that one as well. So now if we press playback on this effect, here's what we get. And there you have it. Those are three ways you can animate text in your videos. Software like Premiere can be very effective when it comes to animating title sequences. So play around with it, try it out. I'm excited to see what you guys create. Link that video in the comment section below if you've tried this out. Um, I'd love to see what sort of animated title sequences you've done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna support me and check out more of my stuff, it'd be amazing if I get a subscribe, like the video, share it to all your filmmaking buddies who might be interested in this sort of stuff. I don't know. Um, and thanks again for all your support. Super cool milestone. I hit 30,000 subscribers yesterday, which is really, really awesome. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Just kick the camera. <laughs> thank you guys so much for all your support. It has been a wild ride and I can't wait to make more content, more videos more often. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.